uh, Roseland and the surrounding communities of Auburn, Gresham, uh, Beverly, and Washington Heights have the, the four highest rates of mortality due to breast cancer. That women of color, their breast cancers tend to be found later, and their survivals are affected by that. It's just kind of scary, you know? When it comes to breast cancer in U.S. women, the landscape is dotted with both myths and truths. The truth is that breast cancer is the second leading cause of death in women, but there is a disturbing fact when it comes to race. According to the American Cancer Society, white women are slightly more likely to get breast cancer than African American women. However, African American women are more likely to die of breast cancer than white women, and they're more likely to die of the disease than Hispanic, Asian, and Native American women. Why is that? Could it be because of a lack of resources, including health screenings and adequate insurance in African-American communities, particularly in impoverished areas? Four primarily African-American neighborhoods in Chicago have the highest breast cancer mortality rates in the city. The south side of Chicago is home to the communities of Auburn Gresham, Washington Heights, Beverly, and Roseland. Roseland Community Hospital is one of the few resources the area has for health care. Oh, the need is, 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 has been, um, let's put it this way, uh, Roseland and the surrounding communities of Auburn, Gresham, uh, Beverly, and Washington Heights have the, the four highest rates of mortality due to breast cancer in the city of Chicago. So there's a defined need, and we're, we're trying to give women access to the best possible diagnostic testing in the city of Chicago. President and CEO of Roseland Hospital, Tim Egan, says a grant provided the latest mammography technology for Roseland Hospital late last year. The mammogram technology was manufactured by Philips Women's Healthcare North America. The technology has the power to complete 12 mammograms in one hour. This is a CC view. We took the first one will be the right. The next one view will be a left breast. We bring the compression down onto the breast. Jeanette White is a veteran in the field of radiology. For over 40 years, she's worked with many technologies, but she says this is the best her patients have experienced. With the digital, it's much easier. The patient much more comfortable. They don't complain. They don't complain as much about the tightness on the breast. Usually they said before, they could feel that, you know, they hurt real bad. And they will always ask, oh, a man must have made this machine because it's so tight, you know. Today, Perlene Woodrick is having a mammogram. It's been about a year or two since I had uh, my last mammogram. And it's important that I get it, so it's time for me to have a mammogram done for this year. Perlene feels that women don't get screened as often as they should because of fear. Yes, because they hear myths of how it hurts or the machine hurts or or scared of the results they're going to get but um, the machine ain't as bad as they think it is so it's quick simple. This new technology is fairly new to Roseland Hospital and while it's doing its best to spread the word on the free mammogram programs it is not the only organization outreaching to the Southside community. Chicago Breast Cancer Task Force this is Ashley how can I help you? Meet the team of men and women that make up the Metropolitan Task Force. Established in 2007, the organization assisted Roseland Hospital in receiving its new mammography system. The team is led by Executive Director Dr. Anne Marie Murphy, who has over two decades of experience combating healthcare inequities. We do a lot of outreach to encourage women, both women of color and uninsured women, to get screened. But one of the issues is they may not have money for that. So we have asked a lot of different hospitals here to donate free mammograms. And so over the last two years, we've gotten 2,200 mammograms donated. She is all too familiar with the breast cancer disparity African-American women face. If you look at where people go for service, African-American women are less likely to have digital mammography available to them. They're less likely to have their images read by specialists, breast imaging specialists who are trained specifically to read mammograms. And um, there's a lot of other things. They're less likely to get their results from abnormal mammograms on the same day so they can get scheduled very quickly for follow-up care. 
they're less likely to get to breast cancer treatment at a specialty location where their care will be coordinated. Dr. Murphy believes the root of the problem is finances. When healthcare institutions decide where they're going to put in new equipment, often expensive technology, it makes financial sense for them to put it in areas where people have health insurance cards and are going to pay their bills. It doesn't make financial sense for them to put it in areas where everybody's uninsured. Evelyn Thomas is uninsured and was due for a mammogram screening. Thanks to a coworker, she learned about one of the many programs offered by the Metropolitan Breast Cancer Task Force. I was introduced to Beyond October through a coworker um, because she knew I didn't have any health insurance. Um, I actually called, I got a schedule, um, an appointment, and I went to Roseland Hospital where the procedure was done. When I shared with Evelyn the shocking truth that race plays a part in whether a woman will survive breast cancer, it gets to her. It's just kind of scary, you know, just in general, you know, people just not taking advantage of programs that are available for them because they don't know. And I'm just happy that I happened to be one of those that found out about the program and was able to use it. And I hope that, you know, this message gets out to other people that there, is pro there are programs out there that you can use that can help you with your health. There are many women like Evelyn who are uninsured. That's the reason they don't seek mammogram screenings. Others aren't aware of programs that help every step of the way, like the Metropolitan Breast Cancer Task Force, or new programs developing at Rosen Hospital. But my reporting also showed me another reason women may not be getting mammogram screenings. It's fear. That's right, fear. Fear of the results or fear of the process itself. Every mother, every daughter, every best friend, and every sister deserves a long full life. Fear shouldn't be a barrier. The message? Get screened now. I'm Angelica Sanchez.